you um, are Italian and Argentinian descent, right? Yes. And then your mother is black and native American, so yeah. you're, the, you're the whole world. I'm the whole, I'm the United Nations, <laughs> We are <man>. the world. <laughs> we are the world, right here. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I can repopulate the planet with my DNA. I'm telling <laughs> you. apocalypse. <laughs> Who do you identify with? Black or Italian or Argentina? This is such a good question, because I'll tell you, it's like, it's a multifaceted journey. And I think every person of color kind of goes through this. I'm mixed, and I've always identified as mixed growing up. Right. Even when President Obama was president, my dad would say, you know, he's mixed like you. Of course, he never identified as mixed. He's like, no. I'm black, I'm blacker yeah, than black, 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 and black lives matter. That could, could have been my son. And it's sort of like this weird thing that where if you're a mixed person of mixed ethnicity, you have to identify as one or the other. And it's usually the one you look like more, the one you were raised with. Well, everybody knew my mom was brown and my dad was light-skinned, right? He looked more white, Italian, Argentinian. And I was like, that's my dad and my mom. Right. I'm who I am. Yeah. I would draw myself, I'm, I have the gold crayon. I put brown and yellow, I'm gold. My dad's more pink and my mom's more brown. It doesn't matter what the ethnicity is. But growing up, people would constantly tell me, what I'm are you? I was ask you about that, yeah. What are you? Yeah. Are you black, are you white? You got a Latin last name, you speak Spanish. You know, I'd be rejected by the Latino kids. I'd be rejected yeah. by the, you know, black kids. I wasn't black enough to the white kids. I'm super black, you know, I mean, it was crazy. So I just said, you know what, these people, it's their problem. It's their ignorance, not mine. I know who I am. Did you get beat up in school? No. Either by the black girls or the no, I'm five girls? ten. Nobody tried to mess with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've oh. been tall since I was young. No, I was the nerdy artistic kid. I would draw and paint and I was always tall, so people wouldn't mess with me. But they right. would they would make fun of me, you know. Oh, you play basketball, how's the weather up there? But they would kind of stay away. I was very quiet, oh, very introverted, grew up very, very Christian, very strict Christian. So, so you're a Christian now? Yes. I, I read am. that you were a Scientology at one time. Yeah, I'm Scientologist as well. Oh, you're Scientology now? Yes. And Christian? Yes. So you could be a Christian Scientologist? You can. Really? Yeah, because Christianity is a faith-based religion, right? Right. My faith and trust is in Jesus Christ, right. and God, and going to heaven after I die. Scientology is a workable philosophy. So you study, you know, communication courses and oh, different things like that. Because I read, uh, in preparing for this interview, I read that you were a Scientologist and that they helped you to overcome a lot of your insecurities. Yes. And Absolutely. how did they help you do that? Well, it helped me find that I, I have to take responsibility for my life. And I used to drink, I used to do drugs, I used to be oh, yeah? living in this Hollywood scene. You know, my parents passed away when I was very young, you know, they both are gone, and, and having my stability kind of ripped away from me, yeah. and wanting to also rebel against being a preacher's kid. My dad was a preacher. Oh yeah, I read that. Yeah, what so I went like all the way the other by way. By a preacher man. It was amazing, but it was also very strict. You know, yeah, uh, it was a lot of pressure. Yeah. And I had to get straight A's in school. It was, you know, you, you, do, you, get, you do well in school, which I did. You come home, you clean the house, and you zip your lip. You don't complain. You, we do Bible studies, and that's it. Wow. So it was very, very strict. Yeah. But at the flip side, even though I ended up rebelling for a few years, yeah. I ended up going back to that moral yeah. background. You know, train up in yep. a child the way they should go, and when That's they right. grow older, they will not depart. And I had to find my way, and I had to find a, a less strict version for me, but it was still based on those morals. So for me, growing up, taking responsibility for my life, realizing communication and, and saying I'm sorry and being humble and being educated, like that's the journey I've been on. And that's what Scientology Everyone's. helped you to overcome? It helped me it helped me on that journey, absolutely. Have you met Tom Cruise or any of those guys over there? I haven't met, I wish I knew Tom Cruise. <laughs> I mean, I've seen him, but you know, he's, he's a huge movie star. Do but. you go to the one in Hollywood? Yes, Liberty oh. Center here in Hollywood. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah. And so, have you heard that song, the only girl who can ever please me was the daughter of a preacher man? Yes. You heard that song? I have. <laughs> <laughs> the only one who can yeah. ever please me what the was the son of, of a preacher man. That's yes, right. he was. Yeah. What's Dusty the, Springfield, I think. I think so. Yeah. yeah it's it's older song. than dirt now. <laughs> but, <laughs> so like, I don't understand the difference between being a, 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 a Scientologist and a Christian. What's the difference? Well, the difference is that, you know, Christianity, we know what Christianity is. Right, we know. And, uh, you know, faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Right. God is the Father. You know, when you die, you go to heaven. Um, Scientology is a philosophy. 
you learn about how, how this world works. Like people, are they lying to you? You can tell if they're gonna you know, backstab you. You learn different, different ways to tell somebody's behavior based on the way they speak. So speaking patterns and you learn to you know, deal with your finances. You learn to, to take responsibility and learn to really communication was the biggest thing. Being so a performer. It's like going to school? It's like school. It's like oh. it's like a philosophy, almost a spiritual college. And oh, it doesn't it doesn't say anything about like most Scientologists believe in God, but it's not gonna tell you what God or how to believe in God. I got you. So there's people of all different faiths that practice Scientology. So I've been practicing for eight years. It's honestly changed my life for the better. I love it. Good.